Swallowed Star 2, Origin Continent. Chapter 169 to Chapter 170. Have fun reading as well as listening. Chapter 169, Nine Members of the Reincarnation Pavilion, 20th of Volume 4. Luo Feng smiled at the woman in green. Senior Feng, you think too highly of me. The Reincarnation Pavilion is renowned across Origin Continent, and I'm sure the strength of its members far surpasses mine. The eight current members include one who is invincible at the first stage of God Kinghood and seven at the second stage, the woman in green admitted. My gap with them is still huge, Luo Feng said. Then are you willing to join, the woman in green asked, looking at Luo Feng. You should be confident. You'll soon become invincible at the first stage of God Kinghood. Luo Feng didn't give a direct answer. Instead, he thought for a moment and asked, Senior Feng, could you tell me the rules of the Reincarnation Pavilion? The woman in green said, I merely founded the Reincarnation Pavilion as an organization. All members within it are absolutely equal, and everyone knows each other's identity. If there's an action to be taken, members can invite others to participate, but joining is entirely voluntary. Whether relationships between members are friendly or hostile, no one controls that. But there are two core rules in the Reincarnation Pavilion. First, never reveal the identity of any other member. Second, if someone initiates an action and you participate, you cannot betray them. If you refuse to participate, you still cannot leak any information. These are the only two rules. Once you join, you must abide by them, the woman in green said, looking at Luo Feng. If you break them, you will have violated a great cause and become the common enemy of all other members. Luo Feng understood. Not revealing identities and not betraying others, that sounded simple enough. If it's only those two rules, I'm willing to join, Luo Feng said. The Reincarnation Pavilion had maintained a good reputation on Origin Continent for a long time. It wasn't like the Two Realms Palace, the Myriad Laws Pavilion, or the Time Space Arc, which were forces established by other races. Moreover, the reputation of Empress Feng was quite good, and both ancient nations had friendly relations with her. It was the reputation of the Reincarnation Pavilion and Empress Feng that made Luo Feng willing to join. After all, as his other master, Swashanka, had once advised, after becoming a god king, he would naturally join some forces. Welcome to the Reincarnation Pavilion. The woman in green smiled brightly and flipped her hand to produce a token. With this token, you can use your thoughts to enter the Reincarnation Pavilion. I will gather the other members to welcome our new companion. Luo Feng accepted the token. With this token, you can also contact the other eight members, the woman in green said. Luo Feng could sense that the token allowed him to descend into the Reincarnation Pavilion and contact the eight other companions. In a distant land, a towering figure stood between heaven and earth, its body occupying nearly one-third of the ground. The black wind howled, grinding against his skin, while his dark green skin radiated an intimidating aura. Apart from him, only two old servants existed in this realm. Hmm. The towering figure suddenly opened his eyes, his amber gaze filled with surprise. Feng has invited a new member. The Reincarnation Pavilion finally has another new member. Come, come, let's drink. In a grand hall, a young man was leisurely drinking, accompanied by many friends. Second brother, you have great talent, but you should put more effort into your cultivation, a burly man with scales, a tail, and sharp horns approached, advising. If you keep indulging like this, you might not escape disaster when calamity strikes. Cultivation? The drunken young man glanced at his friend. Big brother, what's the point of cultivation? When you're powerful enough and reach the chaotic realm, you'll truly be a ruler, capable of controlling the fate of an entire chaotic state, the burly man said. I don't care about ruling anyone's fate. Just ruling my own is enough. Ha ha ha, everything I see, hear, and experience, that's all that matters to me, the drunken young man laughed. Don't aim too high. If you can enjoy fine wine, life's already good. Sigh. The burly man didn't say anything more. Suddenly, the drunken young man sensed something. Oh, Fong has invited a new member. I wonder who it is this time. A trace of depth appeared in the young man's eyes. He had chosen reincarnation to sever karmic entanglements and gain some peace. However, after his reincarnation, he still maintained contact with Empress Fong and continued to be part of the reincarnation pavilion. The reincarnation pavilion was the only group he still trusted, its members had never betrayed him. Let's see the new member. The drunken young man, using the token, sent his thoughts to the Reincarnation Pavilion. Beyond the Origin Continent lies the Endless Universe Sea. Near the continent's edge, a vast region of the Universe Sea was shrouded in toxic fog, which spread widely and continued to accumulate over time. At the center of the poisonous fog was a massive creature with countless claws and a single golden eye. The Reincarnation Pavilion finally has a new member. Anyone selected by foam must be extraordinary, this enormous creature also sent her thoughts into the Reincarnation Pavilion. One by one, the other members soon entered. Hmm. Luo Feng, using his token, descended into the Reincarnation Pavilion for the first time. It was a pavilion condensed from the void. 
Luo Feng stepped inside and immediately saw eight figures already seated within. As the new member, he was the last to arrive. Luo he is here, Empress Feng sat there, smiling as she looked at Luo Feng. The other seven members also curiously observed Luo Feng, all with friendly expressions. When Luo Feng saw these seven, he realized they weren't hiding anything. Naturally, Luo Feng recognized them at a glance, and he couldn't help but be astonished. What a remarkable reincarnation pavilion. No wonder it had only eight members before, but its reputation rivals that of the two realms palace, Luo Feng thought, knowing that each of these members was renowned. In our reincarnation pavilion, all members are treated equally. You can call each other by name, Empress Feng said, Luo He, from today, you are our ninth member. Luo He, a burly figure raised his cup slightly, the first in the chaotic realm, I've long heard of your name. If Feng invited you, you must be even more extraordinary than the rumors suggest. A large, jolly man laughed warmly, his smile carrying an invisible charm that naturally made others feel at ease. He was the personal disciple of the Lord of the Myriad Worlds, known as the Great Freedom Sovereign. His smile was sincere, he was none other than Emperor Guishu. Luo He, I'm Wu Exian, a young man smiled at Luo Feng. Luo Feng nodded and smiled, Brother Wu Exian. Wu Exian. He had once been a guest god king of the Yenfeng ancient nation, but had never fully joined it, serving merely as an ordinary guest. As his strength grew and he reached the second stage of god kinghood, he began to compete for resources. However, the resources he sought were too valuable, and as a result, he was hunted multiple times by the Yenfeng ancient nation. After several rounds of pursuit, Wu Exian eventually fell in battle. There was no choice. As long as I lived, the Yenfeng ancient nation wouldn't stop. So I had to reincarnate, making it impossible for them to trace my karmic ties. The young man explained, you're only at the chaotic realm right now, so you don't have resources that would tempt them. But when you're strong enough, you'll understand how ugly the faces of the Yenfeng ancient nation's emperors can be. Luo Feng smiled slightly, thank you for the reminder, Brother Wu Exian. Among the eight members present, two of them had deep grievances with the Yenfeng ancient nation, Emperor Guishu and God King Wu Exian. Both of them had once been guest retainers, and Emperor Guishu had even been the personal disciple of Emperor Xian. Their enmity was real, and Luo Feng understood that Wu Exian's reminder was sincere. However, despite the many rumors outside, Luo Feng knew that some of the emperors and god kings of the Yenfeng ancient nation were indeed tyrannical. But at least for now, Luo Feng had no grudges with the Yenfeng ancient nation. He valued his ties with Chuyu Marquis, his master Emperor Chu, and Emperor Ming, he cherished these bonds. Gratitude is gratitude, and enmity is enmity. Emperor Chu and Emperor Ming had both shown Luo Feng great kindness, so there was no way Luo Feng would turn against the Yenfeng ancient nation just because of a few words from other cultivators. Luo He. A man in white robes smiled and nodded at Luo Feng. King Tiandu. Luo Feng nodded back. King Tiandu was the direct disciple of the Yenfeng founder. He was a second stage god king, and though he served as a guest god king in the Yenfeng ancient nation, he still held a high status. Even the emperors showed him considerable respect. The first set of materials Luo Feng had received for his trinity form came from one of King Tiandu's pets. Luo Feng exchanged brief greetings with several members present. Of the eight members, Empress Feng was the supreme sovereign of the eastern polar domain and hailed from the myriad worlds nation. Emperor Guishu, God King Wu Exian, and King Tiandu were all connected to the Yenfeng ancient nation. God King Yuntian, who was invincible at the first stage of God Kinghood, had once been a guest God King of the Thunder ancient nation. However, after losing control of his primal bloodline and killing a fellow God King from the Thunder ancient nation, he had been on the run ever since. Blackfire Demon Lord, a second stage god king and also a former guest god king of the Thunder Ancient Nation, had completely severed ties with them in his quest for the resources needed to ascend to a monarch. The Thunder Ancient Nation had valued him highly, but since they had failed to provide him the resources he needed, he turned against them. Despite this, he still had a decent reputation on the Origin Continent. Earthly God King, Luo Feng's gaze settled on the last member, a brawny man sitting there. The man grinned at Luo Feng and raised his cup in greeting. Luo Feng raised his cup in return, knowing that among all the members of the Reincarnation Pavilion, Empress Feng and the Earthly God King were the most powerful. The Earthly God King had risen from humble beginnings as a wandering God King. He had once served as a guest God King of the Thunder Ancient Nation. With his exceptional talent, he had even managed to obtain resources left behind by Yuan, which led the Thunder Ancient Nation to plot against him. However, his power was so great that, even when surrounded by several monarchs, he managed to escape head-on. From that point on, he became an enemy of the Thunder Ancient Nation. Despite being only a second stage god king, the earthly god king could still fight monarch level figures from the thunder ancient nation on equal footing. A place like the reincarnation pavilion has two members who can rival emperors, Luo Feng marveled to himself. No wonder its reputation is so formidable. This gathering to welcome the new member allowed everyone to get to know each other better. Aside from the somewhat quiet earthly god king, the other members chatted with Luo Feng for a while and were all very friendly. Currently, within the reincarnation pavilion, I am the weakest in terms of strength. Even if they have any plans, it wouldn't be appropriate to include me, Luo Feng understood this clearly. 
He knew that after becoming a god king, his strength would increase substantially, and only then would he be able to participate in some of their operations. End of chapter. Chapter 170, Chaotic Vortex of Eternal Light, 21st of Volume 4. Brother Luo He, the enormous, great freedom sovereign lord, chuckled, when you join some of the reincarnation pavilion's operations in the future, you must remember to hide your identity. Concealing one's aura and obscuring karmic ties were not difficult tasks for the other members of the reincarnation pavilion. However, since Luo Feng had not yet become a god king, he was still somewhat lacking in the ability to obscure karma. I believe, given your accomplishments in physical cultivation, concealing and disguising yourself shouldn't be an issue, the great freedom sovereign lord continued, but when you engage the enemy and use your techniques in combat, you must avoid using any of your signature moves. Some techniques are unique to you across the entire origin continent. Once you use them, it would be too easy for others to deduce your true identity. If your identity is revealed, peace will be hard to come by, the great freedom sovereign lord sighed, after all, our reincarnation pavilion has engaged in countless operations, competing against many great powers and seizing quite a bit of resources. In our reincarnation pavilion, only I and Emperor Guishu have ever had our identities exposed, added the god king Wu Xian from the side, once my identity was revealed, the god kings of the Yenfeng ancient kingdom knew that I had acquired many valuable treasures in the past, so they made multiple attempts to hunt me down, leaving me no choice but to reincarnate. I don't care, said Emperor Guishu indifferently, I have no attachments. What difference does it make if my identity is revealed? Emperor Guishu had no family or descendants left, so he wasn't concerned about exposure. I have attachments, sighed God King Wu Xian, I reincarnated so I could protect them better. Luo Feng listened quietly. He knew he was still relatively weak and couldn't yet involve himself in the struggles of the strongest beings on the origin continent, but he could still learn from their experiences. The gathering to welcome the new member finally came to an end. In Xiangjia City, Luo Feng sat alone in a pavilion, reflecting, the atmosphere within the reincarnation pavilion is quite good. Luo Feng was satisfied, even though I'm the weakest, everyone is still kind and friendly. His consciousness returned to reality. However, even though God King Yuntian is the only God King of the First Realm in the Reincarnation Pavilion, he's incredibly formidable, Luo Feng thought to himself, realizing the terrifying nature of the God King Yuntian. There were plenty of God Kings in the First Realm who were invincible, so why was God King Yuntian invited to join? It said that God King Yuntian reached the limit of the First Realm God King on his own, with no room for further advancement, so he turned to cultivating the Hunyuan bloodline. It's rumored that he was so perfectly compatible with it that he unlocked an enormous amount of potential from the bloodline. Although his strength skyrocketed, the deep potential he unlocked also caused the overwhelming will of the bloodline to impact his consciousness, leading to his losing control. In that moment, he instantly killed a god king from the royal family of the Thunder Ancient Kingdom, killing every last one of their incarnations. The incident involving god king Yuntian was well known. If it had been just one incarnation of a god king from the royal family, they could have trained another body and made reparations to resolve the issue. However, god king Yuntian's Hunyuan bloodline contained an inherent poison that directly targeted the soul. Even with a new vessel, resurrection was impossible. Even a god king of the second realm would see their strength greatly diminished when facing his poison. Based on my intel, when it comes to using poison, he ranks in the top three across the entire origin continent, Luo Feng deduced. When multiple members of the reincarnation pavilion act together, god king Yuntian's poison, which could simultaneously affect several god kings of the second realm, would naturally be of great assistance. The other seven members were even more remarkable. In the treasured land of infinite space, Luo Feng sat cross-legged on a large, dark green stone, cultivating. Although he had just joined one of the top forces on the Origin Continent, Luo Feng understood that both the Two Worlds Palace and the Reincarnation Pavilion had invited him while he was still at the Chaos Realm, which was considered an early invitation. Once he became a God King and truly displayed enough strength, many more forces would extend invitations. Even though the invitation came early, Luo Feng was aware that he couldn't yet participate in the collective operations. Two Worlds Palace was willing to bestow me with a significant opportunity, whereas the Reincarnation Pavilion didn't offer any opportunities, Luo Feng smiled. Sometimes, when something seems like a windfall, it's not necessarily a good thing. Every action in the Two Worlds Palace was watched by other alien races. Just that alone made Luo Feng reluctant to join. Focus on your cultivation. They are all too far beyond me. From the experiences and lessons of the senior members, it was clear that the god kings of the two great ancient kingdoms were indeed ruthless. However, their primary targets were the god kings of the second realm. Those in the first realm were too weak for them to bother with. Only the rare and precious resources acquired by the Second Realm God Kings would stir their greed and provoke large-scale actions. Once one reached the ultimate realm of the God Kings, the two ancient kingdoms would treat them more cautiously and would not act rashly. According to Luo Feng's intelligence, the leaders of the Myriad World's Nation and the Tianmu Nation's World Beast were both at the ultimate God King realm. The ancestor of the Eastern Pole Domain, while there wasn't any accurate information, was at least in the ultimate God King realm as well. These three top-tier forces occupied large territories and were all thriving. In the end, this world still respects strength, Luo Feng stopped thinking about it and focused on cultivation. 
The effects of the Hunyuan crystal spirit fruit and the mind-cleansing liquid had lasted for half an epoch, and Luo Feng still cherished the time when these effects persisted. The Path of Life and Death Luo Feng relaxed his mind and began to comprehend the path of life and death. Most of Luo Feng's energy was spent on the path of life's origin and the path of destruction's origin, with only a small amount dedicated to the path of life and death. Luo Feng was very clear that these two origins provided a complete reference for the path of life and death, guided by many top-tier legacies, and they formed the foundation for his mastery of the path of life and death. The more solid the foundation, the further the fusion of the two paths into the path of life and death would go. He understood the theory, but the comprehension speed of life and destruction's paths was noticeably slower than that of the path of life and death. No wonder many god kings focus on just one path. What suits them best is indeed the most effective, Luo Feng could clearly feel the difference, trusting his own instincts. By following the path that aligned most with his heart, his comprehension efficiency was significantly higher. The first volume of the 72 Blades of Destruction is based on the splitting sky and dark sky branches. Its original intent was to refine the dark sky branch and use it through the splitting sky branch, even guiding the fusion of the two over time, Luo Feng lightly shook his head, but this technique has a serious flaw. The power is immense, but it lacks follow-through. If the blade light contained the source of life and then integrated life spirit, the power would naturally flow continuously, full of endless resilience. Afterward, using the dark sky branch for refinement and the splitting sky branch as its conduit. Luo Feng experimented. With his extensive experience in comprehending various god king level secret techniques over the past several epochs, Luo Feng gradually developed a rough prototype of a new blade technique. Not quite right. Luo Feng noticed an issue. When the blade light contains both source of life and life spirit, the foundation becomes too deep, making it impossible for the dark sky and splitting sky branches to truly refine and control it. At that moment, the rules of the world within Morosa's body appeared in Luo Feng's mind. I could incorporate the chaos sky branch, forming a small world. Using the world as a cradle, it could assist the dark sky and splitting sky branches to fully refine the blade light. With hundreds of epochs of accumulated insights, and the six branches of life and destruction both reaching the peak of chaos, aided by the Hunyuan crystal spirit fruit and the mind-cleansing liquid, Luo Feng felt his inspiration surge, entering a remarkable state. In one attempt after another, the new secret technique gradually took shape. This technique fused the two major branches of the path of life, the source of life and life spirit, and three major branches of the path of destruction, the dark sky, splitting sky, and chaos sky branches. As the five branches slowly fused, the new secret technique became more refined. Although he encountered many obstacles during this process, Luo Feng resolved each one. Finally. It's done. Luo Feng had spent over 10 million days on the origin continent, completely immersed in perfecting this secret technique. Come forth. With a single thought, Luo Feng opened a dark chaotic vortex within himself. By now, his experience in world creation was incredibly extensive. Using the chaos sky branch as the foundation, the creation process was simple. A massive amount of energy surged into the dark vortex, forming countless strands of blade light. These countless strands of blade light carried the essence of life and life spirit, constantly gathering and refining. In just a short moment, an uncountable number of blade lights surged within. The energy reserves of Luo Feng's body in the infinite space were consumed by a third, and the dark vortex finally began to feel slightly strained. It's done. Luo Feng sensed that within the dark vortex, an incredibly condensed blade light had been nurtured. Just seeing this blade light made Luo Feng's heart race. Infinite brilliance. Even without its master's control, the blade light would remain unaffected by the passage of endless time. Moreover, even if the blade light's power were depleted, it could naturally recover. It was as if the blade light itself was a source of life, with infinite energy. With just this single blade light, its power should already be at an extremely strong level of the first realm of the god king, Luo Feng marveled to himself, the power of combining multiple paths is truly terrifying. This breakthrough, which had come during a moment of relaxation from his intense cultivation, had resulted in such a formidable secret technique. It was important to note that, according to Luo Feng's own calculations, this was only the beginning of the technique. Next, he would need to fully master all five branches of these paths, and then completely integrate them into this secret technique. Only then would its power reach its peak. With just the fusion of two path branches, it's already at the level of the second realm of the God King. The upper limit of this secret technique lies in fully merging five branches of the paths. With such power from the very beginning, it makes sense. Luo Feng understood. Since this technique involves nurturing a powerful blade light within the chaotic vortex, let's call it, chaotic vortex eternal light. With my mental and spiritual will, I should be able to control more than 10 chaotic vortex eternal lights simultaneously. Ten or more of these chaotic vortex eternal lights would be enough to rival the strength of my physical body, Luo Feng felt delighted. His physical strength was his most powerful asset in the outside world. Utilizing the unique, formless and faceless ability granted by his perfect godly body, he had followed the path of transformation to achieve such extraordinary power. However, since formless and faceless was bestowed upon him by the supreme rules, Luo Feng had always felt it was a bit of a shortcut. But this time, there was no shortcut involved. 
The secret technique, formed by the initial fusion of five path branches, was already powerful enough to rival his transformation technique. Looks like even without relying on, formless and faceless, I'm still quite strong, Luo Feng thought happily to himself. End of chapter. Looking for more novels? Feel free to explore my playlist.